All right, for a while now, I've, I've wanted to have the ability to charge my internal batteries of the Zygu 5105 with a solar panel. So when I'm out uh, portable and not using the radio, I could just plug it in and, and have it charge the internal batteries. And I'll kind of show you what I ran into. I'm used to using the, uh, the Buddy Pole Power Mini, and that's a good charge controller for external batteries. And it uses all Anderson power pole connectors, which I like. It's much better than the, than the little screw type. Uh, but what I found, this Buddy Pole Power Mini takes 12 volts to operate. So I thought I'd try and plug the Power Pole Mini into the Zygu. And that's what I found out. This is a 12 volt in. There's no power coming out of it. Uh, and it's what I have found that works is one of these power works. This is a, a little solar charge controller. And it takes uh, 16 to 25 volts in. And it puts out 14 and a half volts and a max of 12 amps. Uh, this comes with Anderson's on one end. And it had MC4 connectors on the other, and I just cut those off and put on Anderson's. And it's what I found is it does it does charge the battery just fine. Uh, sorry for the camera flickering. Uh, I've tried different, uh, you know, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and I can't get anything to really work. Anyway, it shows that it's. I got 14.497, 14.49 volts in, and the internal battery is at 12.27, and it's every now and again it'll it'll come up, so I know it's charging. And the solar pa panel that I'm using today is a 60 watt folding solar panel, and these are Sun Power. Each one of these little uh, solar panels are made by Sun Power here in the United States and then other countries buy them and put together uh, folding solar panels and as you can tell by the name that is definitely not made in the US but something you got to watch for on your when you go to buy a solar panel most solar panels a lot of the small ones do not have this DC port. They have just the USB ports. And you gotta have one that has the DC out for a barrel connector. That way you're getting the full, I don't know what, uh, solar panels put out 12 to 20 volts. Those other uh, USB uh, ports only put out five volts and that's not enough to charge the Zygu. So you gotta have a solar panel with that uh, little uh, barrel connector, that little DC port, so you can get the full power out. And then the charge controller changes that to a usable amount of electricity to charge the uh, Zygu. Anyway, I just wanted to pass that on. I really wish that somebody in the United States would make a uh, folding solar panel with a name on it that I could pronounce. Anyway, this panel is about as big a panel as you would want. That's the size that folds up. I'll put the Zygu on here so you can see. So you can kind of compare. It's about uh, just about twice as long as the Zygu and one and a half times as wide. Anyway, I thought I'd just pass this on uh, to somebody that might need this information. Uh, that solar panel is about the largest you'd want to fit into a backpack to be portable. Uh, it fits into my to my large backpack. I'm not sure what the liter size in it is, but uh, it needs to be a fairly good sized backpack. Anyway, I just wanted to pass this information on. Thank you for watching the video in 73.